All right, so I wanted to make a quick video showing uh, the differences between the options for control setup in Modern Warfare 3 on the Wii and uh, Black Ops 2 on the Wii U. So I booted up my Wii. Uh, I still have it hooked up. I haven't transferred the data over yet. Still got Modern Warfare 3 in there. So I'm going to start this up and go into a uh, private match and... Um, and show you some of the stuff that I've got going on there. Um, I'm going to go to profile, um, use my original profile that happened to be deleted by hackers, but whatever. Alright, so, private match, uh, we'll just go ahead and start the game, C-Town, auto assign, um, We'll do this one because it has stalker, which is what I normally used. Alright, so I want to go ahead and look at options, um, controller settings, disable look spring, blah blah blah. All this stuff is pretty much available in Black Ops 2, as you'll see. Um, ADS reach you see I have pretty much maxed out and reticle style I just have a green a green dot so I don't even want the crosshairs on the outside because they're distracting alright button layout um, not really important alright sensitivity this is where the good stuff is okay so Horizontal speed, you see I have basically maxed out. Vertical speed is, well, it's a little over half. Horizontal speed ADS, maxed out. Vertical speed ADS, about the same as my hip fire. Dead zone, fairly small. Not zero, but fairly small. Um, I keep them f not zero because uh, I like to have a little bit of space in the middle uh, to sort of point around in without my screen going all over the place. Um, anyways, here are the two main things that are missing in Black Ops 2, which I'll show you in a bit. So you have cursor sensitivity actually quite high and cursor speed completely maxed out. My camera sensitivities meanwhile are low and uh, scope sensitivity is also low, but I never really dialed that because I have never sniped in this game. Turret sensitivity, also never really use a turret, so that could be need to be changed. But anyways, you can see, cursor sensitivity for me, quite high. Cursor speed, as high as it goes. Um, so let me show you how this looks uh, in the game. Alright, so, you can see that if I can put the Wii Remote in front of the camera here a bit, I'm not sure if you can really see it. Um, that's my thumb. Okay, so you can see if I make a small move with the re Wii Remote, it's followed. Let me get up where you can see it here. It's followed quite well with a little bit of lag. But you see I'm just making very small movements, and it's quite a large amount of movement on screen. Now if I go fast, if I go fast it's fairly well followed on the screen. So I think this has to do with cur cursor sensitivity and cursor speed. Now let me go back to controls and mess around with those a little bit more. Oops, not here. 
sensitivity and we'll go ahead and click this all the way down so I was 18 clicks above zero um, we'll set it to just two clicks above zero and go back to the game and see what happens all right now here's my Now you can see I'm making fairly large movements before my cursor goes anywhere. A little tough to a little tough to see. Might be easier if I increase the dead zone. So this is quite a bit more what I'm calling sluggish. Also, if I make the same quick movements I was making before, it doesn't, doesn't really follow it at all. So it basically makes the, uh, <laughs> the dead zone within the dead zone that much smaller. All right, let me go back to options again. I um, want to go to sensitivity just to make this a little more obvious. So I was three spots above zero there in width. I'm going to bump this way up and this way up so I can exist within it with my cursor. So again, this is with low, sen low cursor sensitivity. And you can see my Wiimote here in front of the camera. This is the kind of movement I need to get the cursor to go back and forth. With low sensitivity and you can see that it doesn't follow my movement whatsoever if I'm moving fast fast and small now if I move fast and large eh, it does a decent job decent job but still you can see I'm completely out of phase alright so then Let's go ahead and bump that cursor sensitivity back up so I can show you the difference. Alright, here's my Wii Remote again. You can see I have to move it very little. And it also does a better job of the fast movements. Yeah, definitely much, much better keeping track of those fast movements. All right. Last thing I want to look at real quick, because I never totally figured out what it did, is this cursor speed thing. So this has been, I've, I've showed you both now with very large cursor speed. I'm not going to drop this to fairly low. Alright, let's see what happens. Yeah, actually, nothing real obvious to me there in terms of difference. Uh, it actually might be a little bit better with the with the camera or with the cursor speed low, although it's a little bit out of phase, but not bad. So 
Yeah, that setting. That setting doesn't do a whole lot. Maybe a little, tiny little bit of phase lag introduced there. But regardless, that one isn't that big of a deal, it seems. All right, so that was Modern Warfare 3. And uh, for the second part of this video, I'm going to switch over to Black Ops 2 and show you the difference.